Welcome back. Once again, we've got yet another character up to mood level five. This time it's Lisbeth. So let's go on and take her up to the bedroom. It's kind of worrying that he's taking so many people up to the bedroom, isn't it? I mean, how many is this now? It's what? Four? Four people he's taking up to the bedroom? And none of them have questioned this? Head over heels. You may have noticed I've also changed the armor. That's because I bought some on floor 80. Looks pretty cool. Looks pretty cool. I've got this nice gold trimmings to it. It's very nice. Very nice. Wow, my heart's going to hit a patter. Hmm, the armor doesn't look very good there though, does it? It's like, it's not really made for someone who's sleeping down. Sleeping down, that makes sense. Lying down. That, that makes more sense than sleeping down. What the hell is sleeping down? That made no sense whatsoever. Whoa, we got a lot of musical notes there. We're almost done already. I really do like Lisbeth's armor though. It's really, really cool. I gave her a new mace as well. So I thought, we're taking her to the boss. So, we may as well. Because I've uncovered m enough to take on the boss now. We just need to find the boss room. And we need blunt type, which is perfectly Lisbeth. There we go, we've filled up the happiness bar though, so we're all sorted. I like being with you. You're right. Makes sense. That makes sense completely. That's pretty much it. You're right. Many musical notes. That was a good chat. In your bed. Well, I did not expect this from Lisbeth, to be honest. Where'd she get the shirt from, anyway? Unless it's sort of like a undershirt that she wears under her armor or something like that. How did it come to this? That's a good question. I've been saying that with the previous ones. Though I don't think she'll get mad over something we couldn't help. I mean, probably. I'm also about to fall out of bed, so can I move into the middle a bit more? Alright. Does the screen stop shaking? Because this is weird. I just leave it like this. Very bizarre. I don't think I'll hit you when I roll over or anything. Don't be ridiculous. Um, that's completely different to what he said he wanted, but okay. You just said only an inch. Now it's as close as you want. Make up your mind. Yeah, I, I don't know. To be honest, the way your shirt is right now, I wouldn't say you're just friends. If Asuna came in and saw this, oh dear. Yep, there's nothing to take notice of here at all. Hmm? Did you say something, Liz? I won't fall if I'm right here. Thank you, Liz. Good night. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's never speak of this again, like with all the other mistresses he's had. Never mention this to anyone. We never did this. It's just, just a one night thing, don't, don't worry about it, right. No, not you, I wanted to leave. Okay. Right, so let us return to the floor we should be on, which is floor 80, and continue on to the labyrinth and see if we can get ourselves a shiny stone for Yui. I'll also check if I can get some new quests. 
because that would be interesting to see. Because I did finish the other quests that I had and handed them in from the looks of it. No. So, let us go back here. Teleport to floor 80. Yes. Who agreed with me? Does someone agreed with me then? They went, yes! So, like, alright. Alright, floor 80. Carliano, or whatever this place is called. Teleport gate. No, that's the wrong one. Exterior haunted trail. That's where we were. We'll take on the NM boss again. There it is. Blue shiny one. Because it was easy enough, so. Just use the sword skill. There we go. Being attacked by someone else. Is her weapon actually a shovel? That's kind of kind of awesome. See, I didn't know what it looked like, so. It, that is kind of awesome that her weapon is a shovel. With sort of like jagged edges. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Right, let's go into the labyrinth. But there is something I need to tell you. I was at, I was at work today. And this, this is just crazy. We have sort of like this little fridge. I get the feeling we're not alone here. Where we keep all our like sandwiches and meals and lunches and breakfasts and milk and... You, you know the thing, it's a little fridge. Just, just for work. That everyone keeps all their stuff in, ready for lunch, etc. Ooh, it's a golden one. But yeah, everyone, everyone keeps their stuff there. And it got to lunchtime, everyone takes their stuff, it's all normal, it's all fine. It's great. You know, it's like, it's lunchtime, it's fine. And someone just perks up and says like... Has someone taken my sandwiches? Like, who would take your sandwiches? It's like, well, they were right here. They were, they're just gone. They're just gone. And it's like, well, that's, that's bizarre. It's like, well, what, what were they? Let's, let's see if we can figure this out. Maybe someone just got the wrong ones and just took yours instead. And maybe there's some of us somewhere else in the fridge that are the same taste, the same filling, etc. And they were like, oh yeah, it's a peanut butter sandwich. It's like, all right, fair enough. We'll ask around, see if anyone's had any peanut butter sandwich. And it's like, okay, fine, we ask around. Nobody. Nobody else had peanut butter sandwiches. Nobody had any for lunch or anything like that. And it's like, uh-huh. This is quite bizarre. So then we continued our day, trying to figure out who the thief was, because clearly someone has stolen these peanut butter sandwiches. It's clearly not me, because I don't, I can't have peanut butter, because I can't have vegetables, therefore I can't have peas, therefore I can't have peanuts, because they're not nuts, they're peas. So, simple as that. Yeah, so it wasn't me, so don't try to accuse me of this. Especially because of the outcome of it, we actually know who did it. And it's quite funny, it's quite funny. So it gets to, so lunchtime's about 12, 12 to 1, sort of that time. And it gets about 3 in the afternoon. And a, one person from the office goes back to the fridge to get their milk. Because they want to have a cup of tea, mid-afternoon tea. It's a very normal thing here in the UK, as you'd expect, with me going about tea all the time. So they go, and they're like... My sandwiches are still here. And it's like, yeah, maybe you didn't eat them then. It's like, no, but I had them for lunch. It's like, wait, you had your sandwiches for lunch. It's like, yeah, I had them. Like, where did you get them from? It's like, well, they're on a lower shelf, but they were definitely my sandwiches. It's like, how are they definitely your sandwiches? It's like, well, they were tuna. It's like, tuna? Are you sure? It's like, well, they tasted a bit off, but it was definitely tuna. It's like, um, I don't think it was tuna. So yeah, basically what she'd done was... Hmm. Hey, it's a gem store. Or gemstone even, sorry. And a diamond at that! These things are pretty rare as I recall. I could think of no better person to give it to. How dare you, Lisbeth! This is perfect for Yui! That's true, but then again, Yui is always going above and beyond the call of duty to help us. It's not like she's ever asked for anything before. I'd say she's done more than enough to deserve this. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I will hold on to the diamond for Yui's present. Shall we get back to what we were doing? Indeed, we were talking about the sandwich. Oh, oh, hold on. I get the feeling we're not alone here. 
as expected, swollen slimes. So yeah, basically she she eating two big sandwiches, two big sandwiches, full of peanut butter. Not her sandwiches, and not realised that, that, that one they weren't hers because they're on a different shelf, etc. And two, because they weren't tuna. I mean, how do you confuse peanut butter for tuna and be like, oh, it's a bit off, it's a bit different? I mean, they've surely this completely different texture, completely different taste. Like, what is going on there? That makes no sense. So the whole afternoon after that was just so funny. So funny, just everyone bringing it up. Everyone telling everyone the story of like how she ate peanut butter sandwiches and thought they were tuna. And I feel sorry for the person who had the peanut butter sandwiches because they didn't get their lunch. They had to go across to another building which has a cafeteria in it so they could actually get something to eat. Luckily, the other person did pay for their meal after this because they'd realized their error and been like, oh, sorry about that. I didn't mean to do that. And it's like, very well, I, I, I'll, I'll pay for your meal, it's, it's only fair, etc. I assume she's keeping the um, tuna sandwiches in the fridge right now and just going to eat them tomorrow. Or steal someone else's sandwiches. Who knows what's going to happen. But yeah, it's quite, it's quite a bizarre story when you think about it. Like, how do you confuse them? Oh, this enemy is quite annoying. It keeps interrupting my skills. There we go, use the sword skill. Level up. Level up. Alright, let's continue onwards. Myself though, I don't actually use the fridge. Mainly for reasons like this, I don't trust other people enough. Like some people put their names on stuff. That doesn't help. That doesn't help, especially the milk. People are always stealing other people's milk and using it for their own tea. It's 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 very rude. Very rude indeed. So I don't bother at all. I mean, you've got some people who use instant tea, which is just disgusting. It's it's horrid stuff. Horrid, horrid, horrid stuff. I would not recommend instant tea. Yeah. But yeah, myself, I just take a box with some sandwiches in, keep it in my bag, keep it in my bag, don't take it out, I don't want people stealing my sandwiches, my ham sandwiches, lovely ham sandwiches with wholemeal bread, medium thickness, hmm, might have to get some sandwiches after I do this actually, it's made myself hungry, could do with some ham sandwiches right now, hmm, but yeah, so I keep that in my bag, along with some lemon squash. But I'm trying to think how I could describe lemon squash to someone outside the UK, because I believe squash is a very British thing. It's basically concentrated liquid, which in this case would be lemon, like a lemon drink, very concentrated. But what you do with it is you add water. So you say, take a glass, say a pint glass in this case, that would make more sense. Fill it up about, say, two to three centimeters. Then fill the rest with water. And that just dilutes it enough. Takes if you drank it concentrated, to be oh god, it'd be so overpowering with lemon. But yeah, diluted. It's nice. It's glorious. So I make basically a bottle of that lemon squash. It's an awesome name as well for something. Lemon squash. Oh, we got some enemies here. Do that get rid of them. Yeah. Or because I don't trust people. The door opens. All right. What door? Where was the door? Oh, it's all the way back there and down. Fair enough. I completely didn't take that in at all because I was too busy talking about the sandwiches and how what I take to lunch, etc., etc. Sometimes I just buy lunch there because sometimes we got we got the cafeteria over in the other building, like I told you about. So they make the most glorious sausage rolls, very greasy, but so so good. I'm sensing the presence of a formidable monster up ahead. Got someone else at work who goes there and just takes loads of pasties. 
Oh, I'm just thinking, do does that word pasty work outside of the UK? I don't know. That one I don't know how to describe a pasty. I don't know how to describe a pasty. It just is a pasty. What is this thing? I don't know what this is at all. It's got no head. Well, it wasn't hard at all, but... Yay? Was that chest always there? Or did it appear after I killed it? Grand health potions again. Hmm, I don't know. So we're after a dragon zombie. Hmm. What I do like is that the cafeteria also does make ham sandwiches itself the same way I like them. Because I, I don't like any stupid stuff on it. Like no vegetables, obviously. No salads or anything like that, because very, very conscious of that stuff because I can't eat it. Some people know this, some people don't, but I get a gag reflex with vegetables, so I can't actually eat vegetables. Some some things are fine. It's a certain family of vegetables, like carrots are the absolute worst. Like I said, most of you know this. Absolutely hate carrots. So it's at the point of almost throwing up. That's how bad carrots are to me. So I can't have any vegetables, which is the reason I can't have peanuts. Same family. Just can't have them. Fine with nuts. I love nuts. Hazelnut being the absolute best. I love hazelnut. I mean, I went on about the Kinder Buenos before. And how much I love them. I love hazelnut. I really do. What am I on about? Just talking about food. I think I'm just very hungry right now. Let me just check the map, see if we've covered everything. We haven't been north on this side, so let's go back there. And go see if there's a treasure chest or anything up there. Oh, there's another guy. There's a chest behind him, but... Very weird enemy, this. Well, he's dead. I was gonna say, where's the chest gone? It's because I'm facing the wrong way. Recovery crystal. I don't really use them at all. I barely use any of the items that I pick up. It's quite bizarre. Wait, it's this way, isn't it? I'm very much an item user in JRPGs, but just not in this game at all. I know I've mentioned it before, but... Just not at all. It's bizarre. Aha, we found the boss room. Or the boss corridor. This floor feels different from the others. Does that mean the boss room is close? Yeah. I guess we just have to press on and find out. Alright, let's all run all the way up then. Same again, just a corridor. Just a corridor. It looks like this is the boss room for this floor. This is it, Kirito. Yeah. Just got to head back to Arc Sophia and contact the assault team. Return to town. And we're back once again. Great work today, Kirito. Oh, the lights just turned on. Right. Back at you. Oh, right back at you, Liz. That's right. Back at you, Liz. That would be weird, wouldn't it? It's pretty late. Want to head back to the inn? Sounds good. Just don't share the bedroom this time, because if Asuna finds out what Kirito has been up to the past few days... Oh dear, oh dear. Alright, let's go down then. I have to remember, I don't need to do anything in terms of actually going to find Lisbeth, but where, oh where, is Yui? Give Yui the diamond. That's the that's the aim right now. So let's see here. Friends. Yui! Trained his way. Yoshi! No idea what she said. That could have been profanity for all I know. There she is, we can see her because of her exclamation. There's Asuna. Yui! We brought you something. Well, of course we did. 
It is. It sure is. You're always such a good girl. I guess the universe thought you deserved it. No, no, no. This is the perfect present for you. Of course I am. I wouldn't have given it to you if I didn't want you to have it. That's our han that's one happy little girl, all right. No matter what a shop would have paid me, it couldn't be more couldn't worth what couldn't be worth more than this. Yeah, that makes sense. Screwed that up. But that was it. I expected to get something out of that, like a scene, a CG, anything with like a diamond in my hand and her face just lit up with smiles. But no, we didn't get anything. We just got a thank you. That's it. I really expected a CG from that. Let me check the event list though, make sure we're not missing something here. Nope, it's the normal four again. Right, fair enough then. Right, let's see here. Do you want to join the battle with the boss? Right now we're gathering info about it and rounding up anyone who wants to take part. Um, join boss battle. Are you all set? Okay, so before we head into battle, you should check the boss info one last time. Leafa, I'm in the middle of a conversation here. You don't just come in the middle and start waving at me. Jeez, so rude. I apologize. To Frank, that is. Unless there are any last minute problems, I hope we can count on you. You have my gratitude. Alright, let's have a look. Boss, the guilty scythe. Performs AoE sickle attacks. Hides in darkness to deal massive damage. Weak to blunt attacks. Shockwave attacks can be avoided by retreating. Use AoE attacks when HP is low. Oh, uses AoE attacks when HP is low. We need 815, we got 939. And that one death is going to bug us until the end, most likely. Yes. We'll probably lose more people before then, but... Great, so you're in. We're all about to gather for a meeting, so make sure you're there. So this is basically avoid getting hit fight. Okay, let's get this meeting underway. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for joining today. We have located the boss room during our recon of this floor's labyrinth. Now, the next step is to beat it, and that's where all of you come in. I want you all to, to form parties amongst yourselves. Our tactics for taking on the boss involve conducting raids using multiple parties. Team up with Lisbeth. Maybe I should ask Lisbeth to fight with me. Begin boss battle. Liz, you want to join me this time around? Yeah, that sounds great. A warrior and a blacksmith make a perfect pair. Good to have you on board. I won't let you down. Let's be sure we know how we're going to divide things up and what tactics we're going to use. Okay, it's time to get this show on the road. Let's do this. She's gonna say the same thing every floor. Because I could just cut and paste from previous videos and not bother saying that at all. Everyone, I have only one thing to say to you. Let's win and make it back alive. Dead. Very dead. Going to die. The doors are more animated than the other characters around here. Yeah. I love this sword though. It's really cool. Wait, where is it? Oh, of course it hides in the shadows. Nice, nice. It's behind you! Quick, shovel it! Look at its scythe. The guilty scythe. Right. Oh, back off a bit. Let's buff up. God, its attacks are annoying. Stunned it, that's good. 
sword skill going. We targeted the weapon and the weapon is gone. Put a good on that one. I think we're out of range here. I'm not sure though. Let's switch. Just so we can get our burst back. Let's go with some sword skills. And I want to get that health bar down. Some phantom break on it, because that seals its skills. Don't know if it works at all, but okay. It's fine. Make sure we stay out of that. I'm not switching with you right now. I think loads of people just died. I'm not sure. Can I tell them to evacuate? That's the thing. Vanguard's all yours or something, she said. I don't know what she... Why is he not getting hit? Why is its health not dropping? There you go, his health is dropping again now. That was weird. I wonder if it activated a skill or something that I'm not aware of. Stay back a bit. Can I tell them to get out of there? So if I say damn, will everyone do that? Yeah, everyone will do it, so I can command them. Oh, just as I use a sword skill. Right, so I can tell them to go back in then. I can't s What is happening? What is happening right now? I is this glitched? I can't see what's going on. And it's still... Like the camera isn't attached to Kirito anymore. It's weird. There we go. That's better. That was bizarre. That's better. That was bizarre. I want to look at these commands more. So nice job, use your skills, switch. Try stunning it. I'm too busy playing around with other things right now. I'm not actually paying attention to the actual boss. So if I say withdraw, everyone withdraws. Yeah, like that. Everyone withdrawed apart from Lisbeth for some reason. Now everyone came back in. Right, so that's what I've got to do. Whenever there's a red circle, I pull out, tell everyone else to pull out at the same time. Then they return by themselves, which is good. Right, everyone's staying out right now. That's good. Don't want to head back in. I stunned it just then, so that stopped that skill, I assume. Get everyone withdrawing. Get out of there! Get out of there! I told you to withdraw! What are you doing? I think I'm getting it a bit better now. When I want to do a skill, I can't do anything right now. Why am I staying still? It's not... I can't move. What? Have I got a debuff on me or something? Was I stunned? I don't know. I want everyone out of there because this red circle. Do this skill. Why? It's just a big skill. I want to do another skill myself. Oh dear, my health is low. My health is very low. Let's switch and get out of there. Right, I want to use an item. Right, um... How do I use an item? 
How do I use it? There we go. That's better, I suppose. These AoE skills are annoying. Took out the weapon, that's good. Kirito's health is super low! I want this guy dead. This is the most tense boss fight yet! He's gone. I don't care about the thing. I just wanted that dead. D? We didn't even- we didn't even get a S! I- I knew I did well there. I knew I did amazing there. I- I- I was confident until the end that I was doing everything I could. I was never faltering. I knew I'd get the last attack. I knew I'd be the MVP. I knew we were going to be okay. Never at any point did I feel like I was going to lose and I was panicking. Not one bit. I don't know where you got that idea. I never did. I knew I'd get an S rank. Oh, I forgot to check what bonus item I got. I really thought I was going to lose then at the end. I somehow managed to beat it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I can go activate the way to the next floor. Jeez. I think it's because I was telling people to run out and stay away and stuff that the game was like, Oh no, he's doing this properly, therefore we will award him some extra points. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, let's go, Kirito. But that was tense. Can really do with that sandwich now. Good job, Lisbeth. Thanks for all your hard work. Let's head back to Oxophia and rest up. Let's get going, Liz. Phew, I really do need a rest after that. <sighs> awesome boss fight. Good, it's saving. Now loading. I just hope that recorded properly, because I have had recording problems recently. I think it's because of the heat. Hang on. Is that Straya? I wonder where she's headed. I guess it can't hurt to follow her for a while. I mean, she's been following me enough. Now it's my turn. Looks like she still hasn't noticed me. I might have spoken too soon. That was close. She seems to be in a good mood. Whatever she's up to. Okay, she's come to a halt. Is that some kind of inn? Huh? Well, I can't resist a cup of tea. Huh? Seems my cover's blown. Well, it's tea. Oh, okay, well, sure, why not? This seems like a good chance to get to know her a bit better. I'll make sure I find out more about her this time. So, you're renting a room here, are you? B b wait a second. What? What's going on there? What are they? No, it's not that. I was just a little surprised, that's all. What are they, just knickknacks or what? It's all very cutesy, isn't it? I guess I was expecting some slightly more grown-up decor. I don't know what he'd make of my apartment. There's lots of stuff like that around. Good. Okay. I know I'm conducting an investigation into Straya, but there is something about being in a girl's room that makes me a little nervous. Really? I mean, he's had girls in his room a hell of a lot recently. You think he'd be okay around women? Maybe it is just the room. Um, why are you sitting next to me? Yeah? I can see loads of places other than the one bed. It's fair point, it's fair point. I know that, you can sit where you like. Now, if we could pick up 
the conversation from last time. I don't recall seeing you in the assault team before. Are you a member of a guild? I know you're not in the Knights of the Blood Oath or the Holy Dragon Alliance. Are you in one of those new guilds from the lower floors? Guild? Um, Is she trying to dodge the question? I don't mean to pry, but maybe you could tell me a bit more about where you did your leveling and all that. Hmm. You don't remember? You mean you lost your memory? It's, it's all skill based, I mean, it doesn't matter what you look like. Huh? Sensitive? Um, I think you might be getting a little too close for comfort. Um... Whoa! Sorry to do this, but it looks like I got a message. It's from Klein. It's not important, but it came at just the right time. I'm really sorry, but I've just got an urgent message. I'll have to get going. Yeah. Sure, next time. Thanks for the tea! Yeah, what am I gonna do? I wanted to find out more. What am I doing, even? I wanted to find out more about her, and now I'm turning tail and running. She was being pretty evasive. I need to get to the bottom of this.